Welcome back to the channel guys. I am about to show you the coolest custom built fireplace TV surround that's ever been built on planet Earth. Here we go. There it is. I mean it's still like in 47 pieces but we're going to take care of that right now. ready to go to the job site I'm going to show you guys a quick review on how we built this thing and how it starts from an idea on a piece of paper like this to the final product let's get started here's what we got something in here will make sense at some point in time <laughs> so here's what she's wanting it to look like There ain't much. There is probably six inches or so of black over there. I mean, it ain't gotta be exactly like this, you know. New and improved. At all. My 35 footer started to get the crack in it. Well, that's what you're saying. So I got my 25 footer up, but I think my 25 is worse than my 35 <laughs> was. So I'm just going to get another one. Alright, guys, now you can really tell the size of this thing. It's uh, 102 inches tall, and then uh, the front of it is going to be 96 inches wide, and then it's going to have angled sides on it too that come back to the wall. So it's a big sucker. We got to put our second shelf in here this will be closing off just for the fireplace then above here it will be just for the TV and there's gonna be a mantle between the TV and the fireplace so really got a sense of how tall this thing is <laughs> I'm 6'2 alright guys little update here where you just got done getting some sanding done on this thing we got it down to 220 we're gonna hit it one more time and then a little wood filling in this crack right here other than that, we're getting ready to start the staining process. As you can see, we are now going over to the dark side. That was my best Jedi joke right there. What's up guys, day two on this project here. We got all of the black stained down and we had to put two coats on here. We ended up just getting one coat of the water base ultra fast drying clear coat on here now in polyurethane so gotta let that dry a little bit set up and then sand it a little bit and coat number two all right guys we are on to the next stage i just went through and wiped this down with a wet rag and then i hit it with a wire brush real lightly back and forth to open up the wood grain and now we are going to be installing our verithane wood grade enhancer so this will add a little black accent to the wood grain make it pop a little more so let's show you that process right now So now you can really tell the difference 
and this wood grain enhancer, all this black highlighted spots now, you can really tell where that filled in and made it a completely different looking wood compared to, to these. All right guys, here is what it looks like after stain. This is a color match stain, so it's a little darker, but you can see it really toned down the, the black wood grain enhancer. You can't see it nearly as much now. It looks really natural. All right, that's one coat of poly on the, all of the stained boards. I use this uh, Minwax water-based oil modified because the stain's oil-based. So we're gonna see how this dries up and we're gonna come back in the morning and give it another coat. All right guys, we have got everything done now. All the poly's done and we have everything stained and ready to go as far as we need to. We pre-assembled some of this so we don't have to do it in the house. I tried to do as much as I could before I put it in the house. So whatever's left to put together, it's because it's too big, you gotta get through the door first and then we'll assemble it in there. So we're gonna head over to the house now and start assembly. Let me know.